What's going on? What's going on? Welcome to the podcast. You got a special guest by the name of Tristan. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Good, bro. Just got out of a casting. Everything's been amazing so far. The channel's growing, so I've been amazing. What about you? Man, I'm good, man. I'm good, man. Thank you for being here, bro. Yeah, I appreciate you having me. This is my first podcast ever done. A word? Yes, sir. Man, okay. Well, that's, I'm glad I'm the first thing, you know? And one thing about you, bro, like, um, cause like what you do on the YouTube platform, bro, like, you know, it's, it's, it's so unique in its own way because like one, like you grab your camera and then you go out there, like, and you speak to just anyone like, Hey, how's it going? And what you got on, you know, like, and then, and then like, they talk back to you and like you record them and like, this cause like they talk about their outfit and stuff, you know? And like, and then also like you doing, you doing a place where like, especially like New York, bro, people are so like. They don't, they don't move, they don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't go. And like for you to really go out there and like talk to people when not not out of ten, they're not trying to be talked to, you know what I mean? Because they they always moving, you know. Now before anything, bro, um give us a little background about yourself, bro. Like, you know, where you from, you know, and just a little information about yourself. Yeah, so I'm from Jersey. Uh I live in Sea Caucus, which is like I would say on a good day I could drive to Hell's Kitchen in like fifteen minutes. So I'm mad close. Uh, before all this stuff, though, before videos and everything, I was playing soccer at, well, first I played for my high school, obviously, and I played for Cedar Stars in St. Benedict's, which is one of the best, well, they're the best high school team in the nation for soccer. And then I committed later when I went to college, I committed to FDU, which is a division one school. I played there for the season and then I stopped just because... Bro, like, my whole soccer career was just straight up injuries. Like, right before preseason and everything, I got injured. I pulled my hamstring right before preseason. Right when I got healthy and everything again, I got injured again with my groin. So, it was just a bunch of injuries. And then, eventually, I just picked up the camera after I got signed with modeling. And it's just been taking off from there. It's only been two months of this, though. The fashion videos, two and a half months. So, everything's been amazing right now. Wow. Not good stuff. Now, now, Tristan, bro, like I was saying earlier, like, you know, you pick up the camera, bro, and you're going out there to record different people and just, like, obviously, when, when did the idea came about, bro, just to say, I'm going to buy a camera or, and I'm going to go out there and just start having a conversation with random folks? Well, I started doing the this trend. It was called, what, are, what song are you listening to? So, me and one of my friends, we... We just decided that we were going to just do it. Uh, well, I decided okay. first because he was just talking to me about the idea. I just picked up the camera one day and I just went out. I did it. You can see the first video on my YouTube is really bad, really horribly edited. But then I had this one streamer. His name was, I think, QXQC. You guys can see he's like a really popular streamer. He saw one of my videos and he streamed this to everybody. And everybody just started flooding my comments. That was the first thing that happened. And then I started watching uh, Sean Rizwan. I started watching his videos, which helped me really realize how I wanted to edit the the What Are People Wearing videos because he does a very fast pace. So shout out to him too. Also, before I even started the What What Are People Wearing videos, I watched Karen Britchick, I watched Icy Cough, I watched Not So Blonde. So it definitely wasn't my idea, but um, I'm trying to make it my own thing. Like, I'm trying to do a vlogging type of style. And I'm also, the biggest thing to me, I'm trying to create a community in New York City. That's very important to me. Like, I have artists hitting me up that I I can feature in my videos and they're going to pay for the, to be in the videos. I don't take any offers. I haven't done any offers. Any paid sponsorship yet. I promote my friend's music, my friend Matthias. I have my friend uh, Sad Hippie. You can check out her music. And one of my, one of my new friends who is who linked me up with Cozy Raf on Instagram. You should check out his stuff. His stuff's crazy. But he linked me up with this new guy, and I'm about to feature his music. So it's all about showing love in the community, building a community so you have respect around these people. And that's honestly the most important thing to me right now. Nah, that's real, bro. Yeah.
Uh, like you just mentioned, you showing people love, bro. You know, you're going out there recording people and like you're having them, you know, voice their outfit and, you know, talk about what they got on and just making them feel good about themselves, you know. Even even though they don't want to admit it or not, like you recording them, you know, because I know we all put an outfit on every day and stuff, but, you know, for someone to come in and make sure and make you feel special about your outfit, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like what you're doing, like I said, you're giving people platforms, bro, so that's good, man. And then, um, so while you're doing it, bro, like, you know, obviously, you know, I'm, me being a content creator and you being a content creator, I know, like, it could be very challenging, you know, because, you know, you have to, it's like you have to be consistent with your work. You get Absolutely. me? So uh, wh when you do this stuff, bro, like, what are some of the challenges that you have faced, bro? You know, just... To be honest, right now, the biggest uh, challenge for these videos is honestly the weather, bro. Like, New York okay. City, like, I went to Miami for a video, right? Two videos I did in Miami. Miami was, like, 70 degrees, but it was tough to find people with the, the right outfits that I wanted to feature in the video. But All New right. York City, honestly, like, the only problem is snow and rain and right now february january has been the hardest month by far that's why i have to like record videos i have to do them in a one day i have to finish each video in one day just wow. so i utilize the day. yeah and each video takes me around four to ten hours to edit so it's very time consuming also with the modeling stuff like i have castings all the time okay but this is of course the most important thing to me so i put absolutely all my effort into it like i, I realized I have a very addictive personality. So mm -hmm. with the soccer, when I was playing soccer, I was like the only one in my town to actually put the work in to reach that that higher level. Yeah. And I'm just utilizing that now into into video making. And it's been now, amazing. No, nah, that's good. That's good, bro. That's I, I noticed you said about you know being addicted, bro. But not just you know when, when people think about about addiction, they usually think of something negative, you know, like being addicted to like you know drugs or whatever it is. But like this is more being like you're addicted to your passion, bro, and like you're addicted to being like to creating stuff. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, and I feel like that's the type of good addiction that people should try to like aspire to have. You know what I mean? Because like you know you've yeah, been yeah. you've been addicted to. I mean, I mean you've been passionate about your work, and I, I won't I won't go as far as say it's like. An addiction, bro, just more like you were passionate about it. You know, you were passionate about soccer. You were passionate about shooting videos and and just making content, bro. You know, and, and seeing people, like, mess with your work, bro, I'm pretty sure, like, you, it makes you keep going. You know what I mean? So, um, Absolutely. So, exactly. So, and, and the reason why I asked, uh, what are the challenges? Because I know, like I said, you know, just going out to people and stuff and just having a conversation. Like, I, I mean, I, I, I know people are very, like, so people are not always the, the most easygoing type of people to talk to, you know? So, mm -hmm. I, so that's why yeah. I said, like, if, if anyone ever, like, you know, you go up to someone, like, it feel kind of awkward-ish, maybe, or? Well, um, it used to be awkward, but now okay. I'm just, now I'm just, like, so used to walking up to people. It's honestly not, I don't, I don't get nervous. Some situations I get a little nervous, but not really. Honestly, I just had, like, a few situations where I walk up to, like, a celebrity type figure. Yeah. Only twice has happened to me, though. Only oh, twice wow. where they get, like. They try to like press me or something like <laughs> where they get a aggravated and stuff. But, you know, I, I always try to de-escalate the situations and th nothing really serious has been going on. Like nothing serious like that has ha happened yet. But yeah. Honestly, it's just like honest. I'm just out here trying to show everybody love at the end of the day. Like some yeah. people misread the message when I ask them to, to film and stuff. But the people like it's like 99 percent of the people are cool with it. Yeah, that one percent is always gonna be, you know. Some people have off days. You have to understand. Of sure. course, I, I always understand. You know, you never know what somebody else is going through, and yeah, man, it's just. But for your question, if I get nervous and stuff, it is kind of nerve wracking. But when people start YouTube, this yeah. is the most important thing. Like when people start YouTube, they think it's just all fun. Like everything. No, that's true. Be fun and amazing. It feels like a full time job. Not oh, facts. You know? Like filming, editing. Bro, you have to be the character. You have to film yourself. You have to have the audio correction. You have to do color grading. You have to edit yourself. Nah, so that's it's, facts. it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. That's facts. And then um, and it, this brings to my next question because we just talked about your um, you know, also we just talked about the you being a video creator and a, you know you 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 being a YouTuber as well. My thing, my my, I want to I want to switch over the topic to more of the modeling now because like, you know, which was like my biggest surprise when I. When I, cause I, when I first found out about you, I found out about the YouTube first. 
You get me? And then when I went on your, I went on your Instagram. I was like, oh, he's a model as well. Like, you know, I did, I did those two come about. You know what I mean? So, when did you start modeling, bro? Like, I did even like, I mean, I did that come about. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's actually a funny story because I'm actually pretty new to modeling, but how I started after college, after I stopped going in college, after soccer, because I was very disappointed about soccer and everything, just because of all my injuries and stuff and. But um, for the modeling stuff, honestly, I didn't know how to get started in modeling. So I was just hitting up lower, not lower brands, but low key brands who have maybe 2000 followers on Instagram type of thing, 100 to 2000, maybe 5000 followers on Instagram. And I would just hit them up. I would tell them, just send me clothes. I'll take pictures on my Instagram and I'll post your product for you like a, a brand influencer type of thing. I know brands still do it. But that's what I was doing. I had my friend who wanted to do photography. So I would just take him. We would go to the city around Hoboken, Jersey City, even my town. We would just take flicks. And one of the brands that I actually hit up was friends with my now agent, my mother agent. His name's Nicholas. And I hit up the brand and the brand showed Nicholas my images. And he said, you know, he looks cool. So then he hit me up. I met him in Bryan Park. We had like a 10 minute meeting i took some digitals and then he signed me and yeah it's been it's been great from there i I had to work on my body and stuff like going to the gym and everything i used to be a really skinny kid but now i'm I'm back in the gym you know i'm I'm putting on muscle so now everything's going good like shout out to nicholas and clover management because they've been helping me a lot they've been signing me they've been building my book so yeah they're a great agency wow now that's good man I've seen your videos, bro. You have shot in New York, mm. Miami, yeah. just, you know, in different places. What is your most favorite places that you have shot in? Yeah, New York is always going to be home, man. Just the energy, how you were saying before, everybody's just focused on themselves. Everybody's moving. Uh-huh. People are not trying to do – a lot of people aren't trying to do the interviews and stuff just because they're, you know, this is New York City, bro. Everybody's moving fast. But that's the authenticity. And also – with people with that mindset that are just looking straight and thinking about themselves, they're not caring about what other people are looking at them for. You know, this community that I'm growing, everybody's saying the same thing. New York has this authenticity about it and no one really cares. No one looks at you crazy. If you pull up wearing uh, like a skirt and a big jacket and like a fluffy hat, like no one cares. Like no one cares. You know what I'm saying? Like shout out to Ben Slacken too. Ben Slacken, if you check out his Instagram, he has, like, the craziest fashion sense. And just, like, those type of styles. Like, you can find any style in New York City. That's why I think it's the best city for the, especially these type of videos. It's just amazing. No, nah, that's good. That's good. You mentioned how you play soccer at a point in your life, and then you mentioned how you started shooting videos, and then you mentioned how you start you started modeling. Now, at that point when you were playing soccer, bro, would, did you ever thought, oh, I'm gonna be a YouTuber, bro, or I'm gonna be a model? Like, did you ever thought that at, during that time of your life, or is it just something that it happened out of nowhere for you? Nah, bro. Like in high school, middle school, I was the complete shyest kid. Like, I was so focused on soccer. Um, but I was like absolutely like the shyest kid. Like you, you could talk to people in my high school and stuff. I was yeah. by far one of the shyest people. I, I wasn't very social. That wasn't my thing. I just wanted to be in my own little circle, and all I focused on was soccer. Like I didn't really care. I had fr- uh, of course, I had like a, a a friend group and a solid friend group. But I, you know how you have those high school parties and stuff. I, I I didn't drink. I didn't care about any of that stuff. I was just really focused on on soccer and stuff when i was in high school wow so, like just straight with that mindset you know and that's why it's been carrying over to the videos and everything like that that's why it's just so it's so crazy like i've said this in my videos uh-huh. like, I'm doing this stuff now it's just a complete 360 wow yes it's a 360 no that's 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 dope because it's like and i ask questions like that because you know we in life bro we never know like we never know what we're gonna pick up and it's like as you keep going somehow you just like I said, back then, you would never think, you being a shy kid, you'd be on YouTube, like, talking and shit. You know what I mean? 
or even modeling. Like that's not what a shy person usually would end up doing. That makes sense. Um, so my next question, bro. Um, so you've been a shy ki kid and you, how did you overcome that, bro? Like, or, or, you know, how did you overcome being a shy kid and not being on YouTube? And yeah, these are really good questions. These are really good questions. So, um, like the biggest thing, if you're, sh if you're like a shy person, honestly, you have to just put yourself in very, very uncomfortable situations. And that's, that's the only way you grow with anything that you want to do. Um, anything, anything you knew that you want to start, uh, any, any person that you want to talk to, like, this is how you network with people. You have to realize how important communication is and getting out of that little bubble, that shy bubble that you're in. Yeah. Once you, once you expand on that, you have so much opportunity. No, that's you know, I've been, yeah, I've been networking with a bunch of people. Like I'm, I'm very in these social situations now where I'm by myself meeting a bunch of people. So yeah, yeah the biggest thing is for me, at least for what I've seen or what I know in my life so far, is just putting myself in very, very uncomfortable situations. Uh -huh. And then eventually your body adapts and your mind adapts wow. and you become comfortable. Now that's real. That's real. Um, like at the end of the show, bro, I like to ask this question because uh, I feel like we all inspire each other. And then, um, so but obviously, you know, you like I said, you went from playing soccer, you went from being a um, playing soccer to get to going on YouTube to being a model, and now it's like, and you talk about being shy at a point in your life, and now you're recording strangers on the on the road. You know what I mean? So yeah. for anyone like, either want to get out of out of the comfort zone. Uh, for anyone who wants to be a YouTuber or even try the modeling, just whatever they want to try, like, what advice do you have for them? Or, or what advice do you have well, for your younger self? Yeah, I'm for my younger self. Um, I think honestly, what I just said, to be honest, like putting yourself in very uncomfortable situations and growing from that is honestly the most important thing. Like, if you really want to start YouTube, you have to understand that it's not. It's not like you're you're going to hang out with your friends and you guys are like playing video games. It's not like that. It's a very very extensive process. It feels like a full time job. Like it genuinely feels like a full time job. So you have to be ready for the work, and you have to be very passionate about what you do. Because if you're not passionate about doing either modeling, or YouTube videos, or architecture, or whatever you want to do, you have to be very passionate about it because that's where you, you're gonna find you're able to grow to the top and grow wow. where you want to be because if you're stuck at like a job that you really hate every day you can't put your full effort into it and honestly this thing consumes my my mind 24 7. it's literally the only thing i think about when i wow. get social situations that's the only thing i talk about only thing i want to talk about is videos modeling is growing to to become better instead of hanging around people like i, I shrunk my circle a lot okay. so i don't really hang around people that are not doing similar things that I want to do, yeah. which is what, honestly, I feel like everybody should do because your friends are like a very huge extension of where you're going to be for the rest of your life. Oh, that's but, facts. Yeah. So that's huge for me right now. Ah, uh, okay. Now that's real, bro. That's real. That's All right, Tristan, we talk about you, you know, you've been a shy kid at a certain point in your life. We talk about you um, get now on YouTube, now being a model. For anyone that wants to tap into your work, bro, where can, where can they find you, bro? Yeah, I mean, my YouTube is just my name, Tristan Payne, T-R-I-S-T-A-N, space P-A-I-N-E. And my Instagram is Tristan Payne underscore. So that's where you got to, that's where all my stuff is at right now. I got to get on TikTok. I, TikTok's the same. But I gotta start posting on TikTok because I don't post on TikTok that much. But we're I gonna see. get on that. We're gonna get on that soon. Yeah, man. I definitely think you should definitely tap into every social media platform possible, bro. Cause like the content that you do is is for everywhere. It's for it's for everyone and it's for everywhere. You know what I mean? So I definitely feel like You're you should right. tap, in, tap into that. And then everyone watching this, make sure you you know you tap in with this brother, man. Uh, I've seen the videos, most of the videos that he put out there. Great stuff, man. You know. And then, um, and definitely make sure if you're watching this, make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe, and then, you know, just show some love. And Tristan, thank you for coming through. Yeah, brother. I appreciate you, bro. Everybody got to support this man, too. Man, it was good talking to you, man. You have a good one, brother. You too, bro. Yes, sir.